and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I'm Andy, and this is a first look on. Well, it's a review on a couple of tractors and stuff. So we're going to start out with three track, uh, four tractors. Uh, this short episode: um, International 956XL, New Holland at 11090, the Fast Track 150, and the Massey 390. Look at pricing. International is pretty cheap. <laughs> at twenty-four thousand in basic basic pricing. You can change the main colors, not a lot though. Black was nice. So I got a new red one. This is like a born beat red one. No, a ton of different colors, but some. <laughs> uh, sorry. Tillable tires, Mita's tires, Michelin tires. Standard. I don't know what all of these are. It's in German for some reason. And only German. They look pretty much the same. Uh, without weight. With weight or with uh, front, that looks. I don't know. Did they have a PTO over front? Maybe they did. You got some white suit for you. Design standard. Oh, oh, it's like a couple of different pipes there. Oh, that's cool. Engine is not the way. Uh, 105 horsepower, 105. That's it. The third, oh, it went back to 100. So, mm -hmm. 95. a bunch of engines. We started out, so there's a bunch of these different if you want to. Uh, XL, there you go. Turbo, there you go. Right, started out there. Oh, that's like this. 100. Okay, so there's a ton of engines. Well, we'll just go with that. And it changes the writing there on the side, so. Um, front loader tank, front loader ability, uh, climber tank. I want the climber tank. Oh, it's the amount of fuel, so small fuel, 137 liters or 300 liters. Cool. Have a look at that. Um, and then we have the new Holland, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, sign color is. Oh, that's the box there. Alright, cool. Standard uh, rear mud guards, fenders, 500 kilo weight. <laughs> weight and rear mud guards, standard. So there's some different setups there. Um, New Holland Tradition, New Holland Red. Oh, okay, it's the top thing here. Yes, I agree. We got and then one ten ninety, one thirty ninety, and those two two are Oh okay, kinda of cool. You can see the exhaust no 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 that's air intake. We'll set up standard uh, wide tires, rear twin wheels, narrow tires, or narrow twin wheels. It's only the rear though. Narrow profile, standard. So, oh, pretty cool. Like that. And then we have. Uh, the fast track 150. 
Ooh, that was a big one. Uh, um, so neutral roll tires, standard, wide, row crop, no row crop, standard. Nokian, coming on. Tell about those other ones. Fast track, 40, common 55, 65, 75, 40. There's a difference, no, no difference in horsepower, just speed. Uh, not a lot of setting, but uh, it's a cool tractor anyway. Uh, and the Massey Ferguson 390, which just has one setting. Front loader or no front loader? Uh, so, pretty small, not a lot of setting, but kind of cool. Okay, let's go and we'll start out with our Massey first. So, outside looks cool. 390-10. Definitely a nice tractor. Uh. I didn't have any sounds because I didn't turn on my speakers. Um, so... Are there any settings? No. It's basically just a tractor you can drive around with. But it's a cool old tractor. It's like 80 grand something. It's a bit on the steep side, I think, for a really old tractor. No moving parts in inside, really, but it's okay. Awesome, good sound. Nice, nice tractor on the whole there. Um, and we'll go fast track. Cool, I like the sort of faded yellow color. It's good. Also, pretty cool. Oh, I got one thing. Keep forgetting that the lights. So, formal array of lights. Looks good. Beacon. And turn signals. Front. And rear. No backing up lights, so. Oh well. Inside the cab, with the fast track looks cool. Uh, body seat there. settings front wheel turn maybe the th four wheel turning came later I like the smoke okay, cool lights look good oh there were number lists but well, there were more lights So you go here and then you have an x ray and then there's some, I think it's underneath. Oh, kind of cool. <laughs> some more lighting than the default one. Um, beacon is okay, like standard beacon. Turn signal. Pretty standard. It has rear backing up lights. We're kind of bright actually. I did pick the sixth even first one. No, I didn't. Let's see how fast it can drive. Whee. So nice tractor, pretty powerful. So when I go old school, this is kind of cool, kind of cool one too. But as I said, not a lot of settings on it. Oh, sorry. It's longer than I'm used to. 
but I think these were pretty cool when they came out. Uh, I never seen one in real life, so I don't know. They're not very common in Sweden. <laughs> Next one is the New Holland. Um, good outside, like the rest of them. Cool inside. Um, what oh, has turn signals? That's kind of good. Does it light? It does have a light. They have a beacon, but there's no beacon light. Actually, there is. Down by the signal wheel there. I like tractors where you can see from the inside what, what they have. Well, this is a nice tractor. I didn't see that. I, don't know. I have to check that out from one. ones. Sorry. That inside light. Go fast track. Uh, Nothing changes on the inside now. Oh, wait, oh that's it. it's in cab light. That was the last thing. Uh, and no lights on the inside, unfortunately. This one. Uh, no lights. No turn signal. No, so. The New Holland is one that has stuff on the inside. Does it have any settings? More than oh, uh, hand RPM. And it changes gears. Oh, I want to see if it changes gears. Oh, just tries one gear there. Oh, when you break it, it actually has a, like a a nomadic sound to it. Oh, that's kind of cool. And you can lots of movement here from the inside. Oh, right, cool. Well, uh, there are lights here. Pretty standard. You can. Not much there. Two signals. Pretty awesome a tractor. I like this one. I'm not too fond of New Holland's. I don't usually use New Holland's, but this is definitely an old school New Holland I could think about using. And the last bit is our international, uh, in this case, 956 at Joe's. So inside cab looks pretty good. Good view point. See if you can see anything. It has lights in its inside. No turn signal though. No beacon. So it has some sort of instrument lighting. At least. It's the instrument move that you do. Anything else we can do on the inside? No, nothing here. A pretty rather big tractor compared to the other ones. Outside lighting is pretty standard too. Doesn't have a beacon, that's why it didn't turn anything out. No, no backing up light. No. Uh, it's a cool tractor. It's a gigantic tractor, a big one. Very nice. Uh, did I choose the white tires? Maybe I did. So, nice one, too. Oh, nice tractors. So, if you're looking for some old school tractors, this is definitely your setup here. So it's a good setup, anyway. You want it? Massey 390T, uh, JCB uh, Fast Track 150, uh, 10, in oh, this case 3090, uh, 13090, 13090, 11090 in Holland, and the case 956 or even up to 1050 something, 1055 XL. Uh, so, cool tractors. Smaller, well, I'll go with such a pretty big one. The JCB and the International are pretty big ones. So. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Andy. If you liked this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share. And if you like this channel, please subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.